was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Uh, let's <laughs> stay optimistic. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we've been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. I, lo I love his optimism. Just honestly, he, he could smell, he could sell snow to an Eskimo. Old Peter Quill, well done. Uh. Sacknarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Let's just get this done. Oh. Oh, what's that? What's going on? You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flarkin' thing is looking like a new business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Uh, no, I, I say we stay. We'll, we'll stick with the plan. Let's, let's stand our ground. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. <laughs> because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness, I thought he was actually gonna have to drag that along the ground the whole way. Come on, let's keep going. My word, this is a long bridge. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. For the love of 
will be questioning some of their life choices about now. Oh, were we having a flashback? Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Let's uh, fast forward. Okay, we've uh, seen all this, right? Look, have we seen this? Is that like a walkie talkie? Janet, Peter, Andy. Jamie. Alright. And. Yeah, we've seen everything here, right? Okay. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. What is this? Bathroom? Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. It's slowly taking over. An old school workbench. I wonder what Rocket would have to say about that. Let's look in here. Gives me who's always leaving fridges open. Oh, what's this? Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Man, guys, this song. Just, oh, I love it. It's just so, it's just catchy. It's just so 80s. The Knights of the Cosmos. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's go check upstairs. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so. Full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. A Pac-Man cake. Teenager with a black eye. Oh. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Um, deflect? Didn't you see, uh... This one's not so bad? That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. 
You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Um, compromise, we can still do that stuff? We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there, it's not safe. Reassure? Reassure, I suppose? I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Oh? Don't you dare touch that dial. <laughs> Let's have a quick gander here. Shoot. Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. All right. Looks like everything we can do there. What is round this way? Hansel Sting is from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Yeah, I wonder what Promise she got me him. you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Um, nothing around there. Nope. Okay. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. You're just scared that I'll beat you. I still have lots of time to stage a comeback. Boring. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. <laughs> Smooth talker there, Pete. Smooth talk. Let's just have a quick look here. Oh, so this is the game then? Mom's pretty close to winning this game. What is that, risk? My kind of risk or something? You gotta get Australia, dude. That's the key. All right, let's uh, let's head on up. Let's find out what this overdue gift is. Oh, nice bathroom. Look at that tub. Wow. Okay, now which one would be Meredith's room? This one, I'm guessing. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Oh. Wait, so does... Like, this... Yeah, this is Meredith's room, right? Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. No, is it not? Okay, this must be the grandparents' room then. So 
so then Meredith's must be this way. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Yeah, that's a pretty good artwork. Okay, what is this, a study? Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty the solar slim, system. Okay. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. And what's this? Dance as every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? <laughs> The truth is out there. Yes, it is, guys. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Gun case? What's this here? Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Oh, she's a bowler. Okay, let's, um, let's check out the mother's room. There it is. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in here. No. Wait, what's this? I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Oh, wait, so Meredith suspected then. I wonder what it is. Chapter 4, The Monster Queen. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm uh. sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woolberry. And I mean... I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else, can you explain that again? God, After we sell Groot, we I'm sneak serious. back in and use my just tracking device to find him out. and bust him out. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, yeah. officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got an in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have oh, never wow. seen one of those two. I have seen them trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No, I stand correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! Yikes. It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell him. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug. 
What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? Let's no, reassure. it's fine. If I can track Star Nuts, I can track you. Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot, warm sort of thing. You mean hot, cold, right? <laughs> what? The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> and pay attention. He will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. Uh, yes, ma'am. I am humble, and my dreams come to pieces. Spare your empty Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you mean. Do not blame me. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Okay, so she likes monsters. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. <laughs> oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Uh, just play along, man. Flatter her. Uh, yeah, just play along. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. <laughs> Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. God damn, this guy's got game. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature.
I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Uh... Fruit, he's the best monster you could buy. Either you pay us what he's worth, Rocky Drax has this. Name your terms, then. 15,000. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. What? I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. 12,000 for the Flora Colossus, then. 12,000 is not Not enough. that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. 12,000 units it is. Drax was surprisingly ineffective in <laughs> negotiating with Lady Hellbender. Go Drax. Told you guys, this guy's got game. Untapped, raw, innocent, naive game. Pay attention, fellas. Oh no, that look. Sweet. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. I don't know about this. I do not know about this, guys. Like, do we really think we can double-cross her? No, no, of course I will. I'll call you, I'll call you. <laughs> you guys were supposed to wait for me. You took too long. I was establishing an alibi. You were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Oh. Boy, where ah. these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Yes. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few Scott Knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! <laughs> don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Okay. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We comparing scuddy father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. <laughs> Once we did Hang on. Um, I want to quickly start sorting out some ability points in case we've got to throw down. So. Um, who can we assign some to? Um, van I thought we got Vantage Point. Didn't we? Let's get Vantage Point. Uh, fan the Hammer. Yeah, I want to get that as well. And let's swap Guardians. We've got Rocket. 
No, they're all good. All right, yeah, and, and we'll save. We'll save one point. Show you guys a real party. Uh, okay, let's do it. We're worthy of this celebration. I thought about signing up with the Ravagers for a bit. What happened? It was a phase. I got over it. Maybe you okay, I'm guessing if we knock over these things, then we can um, hey. it'll cause noise. Okay, guys, no, no noise, please. Such lack of work ethic. Where does that go? Maybe. I just don't see them slacking off with a boss like Lady Hellbender. Uh, this way? The room entrance is down there. So we just gotta, you know, we bow away across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold tracks. That's not what I said. Come on, you were thinking it. We're not Pimp's Rocket, and the plan is going just fine as is. Still, he could have strung her along a little, gotten us closer to Groot or something. Do not use my sexual magnetism to set the food. Spoken like someone who's never dated. <laughs> not everyone has to trick someone into a date. Okay. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, more stealth thing? Paid for it? Paid, stolen, such. I trust Rocket's doodad. Let's trust his doodad. I remember no such time. Before your days, muscles. Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hat. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Okay, careful, 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 guys. It is shameful that Lady Hellbender's minions are so easily inebriated. Hey, all right, Rocket. The so-called leader is the biggest lightweight of all. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Mulberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door and it'll find Groot. Prefer these halls where they are not cluttered by drunken boats. Yeah. Am I good or am I good? Those are the same options. Okay. Tracker says. Ah, come on, you skeg. I knew that thing was junk. We saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Oh, what's this? Elevator to monster sure pens. Tracker is fixed. I told you it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Uh, okay, where is the switch then? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just uh. Oh, hello. It ain't moving or nothing. Perhaps he is asleep. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. Um, okay, let's see. Maybe there's some stairs. There are several stairs. I mean, stairs down to Groot. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's not perfectly good if we can't get it working. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble at once. Let's see what's happening back right there. Very Think good. Could have made more noise with that. Of course, she did not ask. There's an access panel or something back here. Perfect. Suck it. Maybe I could just hotwire the dash thing. Go on, Rocket. Take a look, please. Can't you just do that flippy thing and get up there, Gamora? All right. I'm sending the schematic to your visor. 
Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Okay, so... Uh, hang on, so where, where's it going? What's it like in there, Rocket? So is this... and dusty! Smells like wet fur! That is the smell... I know it's me! Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take... Whoops! Must be setting our soothing sounds, volume two. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Uh, the primary and secondary relays are connected, you Zarnooks! Activate the elevator to the monster pins, okay. Means if one fails, they both fail. That does seem negative. Oh, it ain't great. Oh, so is this what we need to activate? Uh, okay, so that is round here. Switch this. Done. So what? We've got to get the current to go all the way around this way. Um. All right, let's. This one. Did that do it? Good. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, here. Good. Okay, so not over there. So we want to be going this way. Uh, not around oh, there. So this is going to take it. That's going to lead back. Lucky okay, so we, we do want to be going this way. Not die in that hole, rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. And Good. Here. Got it. Uh, Peter. We've got company. What? Is that not right? Now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! Oh! This is all a big misunderstanding! Let's set him straight! Can't you follow a simple circuit path? I saw no paths to follow. I have a switch to threat! Return to the sturbing! Big problems come with a big solution! Nice, Jess! Did your magical mask malfunction, Peter Quill? His brain malfunction! Days are close, Rocket! None of them can get out of here alive! You know, you're scary sometimes! Like old times! It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill! Right with the idiot! Okay. Oh, this thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. Have you seen the Milano? Hey, those are much more organized than they could be. All it right, so ran out of them zip ties. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, that one here. Done. Cool. Whoops. Must be setting our soothing sounds. Volume two. I believe those are monster mating calls. Hey, that's a little freaky. Uh. Okay. Done. All right, so then this one. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Uh, that one's already activated. It takes it around there. Let us try this one. Uh, Rocky, did that work? It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's got to be a second node. Okay. Okay, um... Mm, so how do we... Okay, this one goes here, and that one goes out! You okay? Yeah, yeah, you just focus on them junction points. Okay, here. No. Yeah, we need to get 
power to there, but from... So we're gonna have to kind of direct it, what, around here? But... Uh, what are they doing trying to run this much current through one capacitor? Is there a problem? Just amateurs. This whole board is gonna need to be replaced. Okay, so it has and to be around that way. So let's do like that. Uh, these ground wires are just tied together. Switch this. Done. Okay, okay, we're doing this it. One. We are doing that, it. Uh, just a little slip, no big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah, we'll probably just lower the height a bit or something. Ah, okay, I see, so... Yeah, uh, we don't want it to go that way. There we go. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. Alright, now let's get up here. And we can open the monster pens. Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. Oh, well, well let's uh, try it out We're then. almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. Kind of nice for a change. Please. You get bored if it was all smooth sailing. Remember the cargo run for the Hanchi? I remember you nearly jumping us into a black hole. Where's my point? The exciting bits are what stick with you. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Okay, more Fuck. stealthing. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. Oh, Groot God. How do we get past this now? How do we get through this? Anyone else thinking Groot's tracker may have gone dark because they... No! Don't even think like that! It is more plausible that the tracker was discovered and has been destroyed. Well, that's... better, I guess. Whoa, careful. Does it? We are not the ones wearing jet boots. Okay. Rocky, wait for us. Nice and easy. He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. 